discuss IT controls, networks, and business applications. First of all, I'll discuss when we bring IT in the organization, what kind of control structure we have to develop. Then we'll see aspect of automated information processing means when we remove the people and we try to bring the uh, machines into the work. So what impacts it gives? What are the IT controls in terms of input control, output processing and backups? Data communication network and client server system because organization has grown too much. So we work in client server environment where we have a server who is serving to different people within the organization protecting them from outside invasion of competitors and viruses. The EFT, electronic fund transfer, is the latest technique through which we use our debit card, credit cards. By using a card uh, swap machine, our fund electronically transfer from one location, one account to another account. E-commerce is increasing day by day. Commerce is a business, E is electronic. So business is electronically increasing too much. People are buying and selling on the websites. You can add to cart and you can pay through your credit card and things will be delivered to you. This is the latest technologies. And data, electronic data interchange is a technique through which we exchange information between you and the other parties. Generally, it's very effective for when you are using just-in-time inventory management system. You give an access or of your production levels to the your suppliers, and it will create. They will keep monitoring. When it you reach to a reorder level, they will create a new PO for you. Let's discuss control framework. First of all, we have some, uh, the biggest, uh, the most popular is COSO, that is Committee of Sponsoring Organization. It's like uh, different, uh, there are different uh, concepts that explain controls. One of the Canadian model is COSO, then there is a COVID, there is COCO. These are different people different organization, they explain control in their own language. So as a student, we should know first of all what is internal control. And internal control is in fact in part one and two already we have discussed what is internal auditing, internal control, and but it still internal control is, an, is a process which is uh, set, by, uh, set by the board of director and management and the personals, it links together designed to provide reasonable assurance that the objective of the organization will be achieved. Our three basic aims we have, effectiveness and efficiency of operations, reliability of financial reporting and compliance. These are the three rules that we have. Now in terms of CSO, there are some five components that we have to take care. First of all, control environment, risk assessment, information and monitoring, control activities, these are the five components that we have to keep in mind. If we want to control, first of all, we should build a control environment. Means it's like if you, if a boss comes on time, we do hard work, then everyone in the team do hard work. This is control environment, right? Then we have ESAS model. ESAS models are almost the same, plus minus factor changes. For example, he says that ESAS uh, E-S-A-C-I-T business uh, assurance objective as system should be always available, capable to do works, it should be functional, it should have predictability and it should be, it, uh, it has accountability concept. Corporate is strategic alignment, we should first of all, if you want to bring control in the company, we should put uh, the, first of all, strategic alliance, long-term vision we have to see. Then the value deliverance means every step should be valued, studied, researched, and any kind of non-value added is being removed. Resource management means you have adequate computer, people, process, policies that will create a good, effective control. Risk management is same, performance management is same. 
COVID has four techniques. You have business focus controls. Is if you are an auditor and you want to make a system, you have certain options. One is business oriented. Means you see what is business, then make a control like this. The other is you see process. When you see process, means how people make quotation, who approve, where it become confirmation, where we send it to client, clients and PO. Based on that, we generate delivery, delivery send, and a signed document comes to you. Then you issue a sale invoice, followed by you receive the money from customers. Right? This is process. So you can move around that control base. What you are put, going to put the control in terms of attendance, in terms of sale, purchase, IT, and measurement driven is you can make a system that is performance based. Then you set the criteria, tell them look these are your KPIs, key performance indicators, and you have to compliance with it. Right. Then we have Global Technology Audit Guide, that is GTEF. It has general and application controls, preventive, deductive, and corrective controls. Controls we studied in part one and two, that controls are preventive, we don't let things happen. Then we have directive, we tell them how to do. And detective, if something happened, like a stop take. So these are the same here. Yeah. Aspects of audit, uh, the automated, when you use machines, then you have a trade, you know, you have a record of the transactions, you have uniform processing of transaction means all transactions are same. Segregation of duties is, is achieved through username, password rights, then you have potential for error and fraud will be reduced. And potential for increased management supervision because now you have reports, management can involve into the reports. Any uh, initiation or subsequent execution of transactions by computer. Means computer can, you know, just you have to initiate, means the starting input. The rest computer can process. You know, now we have systems, you click, balance sheet will come. Just we put different vouchers and it system will post it and process it. Dependence and controls in other areas on control over computer processing will increase because now you have to make a server, you have to save and secure it, right? In terms of processing mode, we have two type of system. One is batch system, other is online. Batch system is we open a batch like a retail store. All day people do. They are not technical guys. They just uh, punch into and at the end of the day, a manager will come, he will review and if it is accurate, then it will be posted to the main database. Online is, which is pre-formatted form is available. You can do it and a transaction will be hit to the master file on the same time. In terms of classification of controls, uh, the organization must implement appropriate controls at three levels uh, in the COVID models. One is, they, then he says it's a general and application, then uh, it should be reliable, it should give general controls into four basic area like system development, change management, security and computer operations. The application control is when you are going to apply some, uh, some software, some, some processing. So input controls, financial total, record counts, hash totals, online input controls like pre-formatting, field checks, validity checks, limit and range checks, self-checking. This way, in fact, uh, primarily has checked in the part uh, two and little of this has been uh, tested in part one as well. That, uh, but yeah, in part three also, we are going to accept. You will say which of the following is the example of the input controls. So if you remember that time, this financial total record count in hash hash total. These are input for batch and pre-formatting is like for online we have pre-formatting, field checks, validity checks, limit and self-check 
Okay, let's talk about technology. We, because uh, the organization has increased, people has increased, we cannot let everyone...